praise the Lord. I thank God again. Check what here. I thank you tonight, Lord, for a superior month. We in a, we in a superior month, the month of May. And I finally get here and I thank God that he has brought us over the horizon. January, February, March, April, May. And also, he has brought us to, uh, to uh, 2021. We are in 2021. 20, I heard one of my good friend uh, died yesterday morning, uh, uh, Jamie Thomas. May God keep his soul and may I see him again. Uh, I don't know how he died, but he left in the pandemic. And I hope he didn't take no vaccine. <laughs> I hope he didn't take no vaccine and vaccine kill him. But then he died of a natural cause like me. So I pray that God will keep him my good 27 years friendship. Uh, Jamie Thomas, a legend of his own kind. Good boy. No, really, really close. May God keep his soul until I see him again. So we're talking here uh, this month, nations. We, uh, this, is, this, is one of the, this is one of the most um, the intense teaching I'll be sharing on the, the Facebook. I've never taught this before about nations, but God has given me the insight to bring this teaching alive. I have I've gone deep inside. It's okay, bring it out now, because it's always there. But I've never taught it before, I'll be honest with you, with you. So it's fresh. Fresh breeze coming in. You know, this morning, I talked this morning here about the, about the, uh, the, the family of God. We talk about the natural family, spiritual fam family. Good teaching on the Nugget session. On the midday, we talk about success. So, you know, but I'm dealing right now with, with, with uh, nations. And I was sharing this week of nation awareness. Awareness. Nations awareness. When, I, when the Lord put awareness on the nations, he was saying to me that many of the human race don't understand how nations operate. So I will do my best from God this month to give you some insight of our nations as God gave it to me. And I told you before, this is, this is new territory for me. You know? So I had to feed on God. So I want to take my time tonight and try to get you aware of the nations. You, you might not know, believe it, you are, you, are, you are in one. Every human being belongs to a nation. You know? Everyone on earth is a part of a nation in some way or another. Everyone on earth. Anywhere in the world, when a nation suffer or is under attack, its people suffer and is also under attack in one way or another. If a tsunami come here, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Baptist, Baha'i, everybody will feel the pain. You know, if a storm come, it may pass in a certain area in a country or nation. I'll be sharing next week of what makes nations. But this week I'm talking here about awareness. So anywhere in the world, when a nation suffer, it's under attack. The people there yeah, suffer in one way or another. That is why in God's word, it is instructed to pray for those who are in authority. Because those in authority can cause the nation we are in to do stupid things or to fall through a crack. 
and bring calamity and destruction upon its people. So we have to pray for those in authority. That's one thing. I, I, I heard a woman, my good friend, Dexter, Dexter James, had a 24 hours for our government. That was good. That was good, despite uh, whatever party he, he belongs to, they belongs to. It's good to offer a prayer for those in authority. But sometimes our prayer will not work when we pray for a wicked nation or an evil nation or a wicked prime minister or an evil pre president. And we are praying, praying, praying. Sometimes our prayer, how we pray, will not work because of the heart and the attitude of the leaders. See, when the heart of the leader is not conjoined to God, you'll find our prayer struggle to be answered. So not all prayer will work, but it will work unless the leader have the right heart, right character, right attitude, then our, our prayer can influence God and it's up to God to manifest. Not up to our prayer. Up to God. You can pray for a nation and it's, it's still up to God to answer it. Because no prayer can force the hand of God. Because uh, no prayer can force the hand of God. A prayer can bring the ills or the situation towards God. But the prayer cannot force the hand of God. So don't get tied up, those who pray. Whenever we understand what is a nation, our whole perspective will change. As I spent some time these couple of days, my whole perspective changed because COVID-19 right now is not attacking people alone. It is attacking nations. So you have to understand COVID-19 and going after the people is going after the nations. And when the nations suffer, its people will suffer. So that's why we have to focus now how to protect the nation if we have to protect the people. That's a good statement there. Well, what is, what is a nation? What is a nation? I'm glad you asked. A nation is a large aggregate of people. When I say aggregate, it means, it means a, 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 a large crowd of people. Uh, a large bunch of individuals. Two persons cannot be in a nation. A nation is a large aggregate of people united by a common descent. A common descent. And that descent is human being. Descent. We all came from God. We, we all ascended from God. So a nation is a large aggregate of people united by a common descent or uh, and history and culture or language. All these commodities and requirements is built a nation. A descent, human beings, a history, the long, the, the long life existence, the culture, what we believe and how we, what we practice, or language, what we speak. I, I, I travel uh, around the world and I have heard over, over 400 different languages in my lifetime. I have heard language, Africa, the most set of language I ever heard, Africa. <laughs> Kamba, Yuba, this bar, yeah, you know, all of this one. Africa, the most set of language because they're the original of human being. Africa is the originated of the descent. Don't make no one but they fool you. The first human being was in Africa. That's why Africa have all the resources. You know, so a nation is a large 
aggregate of people unite by a common descent, history, culture, or language inhabiting, inhabiting a particular country or territory. So it inhabitates, uh, is it, a country or a territory. It must have this, 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 this uh, country effect to be a nation or a certain territory. Like America have a, I think it's a 56 states or, 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 or whatever, uh, 55, 56 states. But it's one country. It's one nation. Africa have uh, 50, uh, 60, 60 countries, but, but Africa is a continent. A continent is a, is a, habit, is a habit of countries that make up a continent. America is not, not a continent. It's a nation. But it have, it have, it, it have cities. See? So Africa is a continent. Asia is a continent. You know? So everyone belongs in, in one nation. Everyone belongs to a nation. There is no one on the earth did not come to a nation. Even though one migrate into another country, you must come from a nation to migrate. Because the world is made up of nations and continent. When God look at the whole earth, he sees one nation of human being. God doesn't see continent. He doesn't see race. He doesn't see color. He doesn't see tribe. When God look at the earth, he sees one nation. And it's called earth. It's then called east, west, north, or south. It's called earth. What makes God so infinite is because he's omnipresent. That means he can be in every nation, every country, every city, every tongue at the same time. So that is what makes God see the whole earth as one nation and one nation as the earth. But culture and languages separate us from God because of the human, the human instinct and ability. So culture and languages is what separates the human race. You know, not, not history. History don't. We all have a, we all have a, a, a story. History is his story. That is why Jesus came. Jesus came upon the earth. He didn't come to a country. He came upon the earth. Jesus never came to a certain country. He came upon the earth. He may pass through Jerusalem. Or pass through um, Bethlehem. He may pass through wherever. But he came on the earth to bring back man, to bring back the human race as one people. That was Jesus' assignment. Or that was God's assignment in the form of a man. God's assignment, he became a man. To bring back all human beings as one people upon the earth. That is what God tell me to teach on this platform. And the scripture I shared this morning in, the, in our nuggets is Psalm 24 verse 1. It says here, the earth is the Lord, not America, not China, 
Not Africa. Not Trinidad. Not the Caribbean. The earth is the Lord. Boy, that's a powerful. Why did God put that in the Bible for I to read it? I have to import fools to understand this. So I said before, <laughs> I said before that when God looked at the earth, he see one nation. So he said in Psalm 24, so the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world, the world and they that dwell therein. So when God look at the earth, God see us as one people. One people. We are talking here, nation's awareness. Because COVID-19 did not come for the people. It comes for the nation. If he get the nation, he get the people. I heard today my prime minister was talking about to protect the nation. <laughs> He's right. Because he know if they get the nation, they get the people. Whatever it is. And he was saying there, through his discussion on the, on the, on the television mission, and he has a responsibility to protect the people. But to protect the people, he has to protect the nation. If he can protect the nation, automatically, the people will be protected. But if the people is rebellious to the instruction of the leader, then the nation can suffer. And when the nation suffer, the people will suffer. Now, a person asks me how I know that this is going to happen in our country. You see, God does give me things to share on the marketplace in a systematic format. God knows our prime minister will go and shut down the country. Now, they close all stores. They, they close, they close all, all restaurants. They close all food. They close all, all places closed. Because the, 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 the leader, he believed by shutting the internal thing of the nation will protect his people. Well, let's wait and see. That's his connotation or his belief. Now, we never say he get that from God. <laughs> But for one time, our prime minister was talking there and says, God say to shed the nation. <laughs> but for one time, we say, God say, God say, oh God say. He's saying what he believes will protect the people is if he shed the nation. I believe we are, the, we, are, we are one of the longest air, airport that has not been opened since a whole year open domestically so our prime minister is seeing the nation like how god see the world but covid 19 too is seeing the world covid 19 too is seeing the world and up and now nobody know where covid 19 came from and hit the whole world and touch every nation how could one flu touch Every nation, it got to be involved with God. It is called judgment upon the nations. But we would not see it as judgment if the human race in the nation can see this as God's judgment. They will take stock and do the appropriate thing to protect the nation, not the country, the nation. So God see us as one people. Whenever we talk about God's earth, there's a secret place in every nation 
that God wants us to be a part of. God will never create a nation or, a, or the earth without he making sure he locates a secret place for the people in the nation who want to obey him. Like me. And like you. So, God is so intelligent. In every nation now, he has a secret place. Because remember, he's omnipresent. So you can't say that God is no, not in China. Or God not in America. God can be where you can't. God can be where you ain't. God can see what you can't see. God can know what you don't know. He's omni, omnipresent, omniscient. He knows, sees all things. So in every nation, there is a place of secret that God put there. But you can't go in and out as you want to. No. It took me years to understand. I was in God's secret place 38 years ago. Being schooled for COVID-19. Being, being mature for COVID-19. But for I to really realize that I am being schooled, I have to leave the principles of the doctrine of Christ. That is the stepping stone for the God secret place. You cannot be conformed to Christ's doctrine for your life. Because the doctrine of Christ is progressive. It is more intense and it is more intelligent than the basic foundation. The Christ doctrine is infancy. And that is, we have to start there. But we can't stay there. So when God tell me, Carl, leave that doctrine, he brought me into a higher level. And where I am now is in God's secret place. Because it is there. But you've got to leave the basic doctrine of Christ and move on to maturity and perfection. Because Satan, the prince of the, of the world system, not the world, the world system, he has also developed a mature approach how to really combat the human race. So if, this, if Satan... Lucifer has enhanced his ability. Why can God's people enhance theirs also? Satan changed his whole tactics from, 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 uh, from 8,000 years ago. He changed all his strength from 8,000 years ago. Because the world exists now about 8,000 years from Adam to me. And Satan right now, he changed his whole, his whole platform. So we too have to change the platform. That's why Jesus said, is it robbery for I to be equal with God? Because Jesus knows that he wants his children to be progressive. You know? So when we talk about God's earth, there's a secret place in every nation that God wants us to be a part of. But you can't go in and out as you want. One has to dwell there or stay connected. How to dwell there or stay connected? It is his shadow. It's God's shadow. His shadow represents his present. His present produces a shadow. So you cannot see God, but God's shadow is there. And God's shadow is where we have to understand of God's secret place. And this deep stuff. Tell you, I've never told you before. Everyone, this is my good, has access to this place in every part of the world. But the key is, is how to find it. How to locate it. Some of them are there and we can't identify it. There are many people right there, right there in God's place. They just have know that they can't, they don't even know that, that they're in God's place. So I, 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 will, I will do my best this week to rip open one scripture, Psalm 91. 
God told me in my devotion with him, he says Psalm 91 is an anti-dope for COVID-19. He said, Carl, Psalm 91 is an anti-dope. It's an anti-defense for COVID-19. Psalm 91, the 16 verses. It says here in verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The Almighty. Let me, let me read again. He, you and I, she, he and I, she is a he. And he is a he. He or they that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will rip this apart this week. You know, this, this teaching here, coming your way, express the security of those who trust fully in God. This teaching is for only those who can fully trust in God. It assures us that God will be our refuge our hiding place, and that we may seek his protection in time of spiritual and physical danger. Spiritual and physical danger because we are fighting an enemy who know how to handle spiritual things. So the only security we have to fight Satan or Lucifer is the Holy Spirit will combat these, these spiritual things. And our, our, our wisdom of God's word can, ha can handle the physical. Our wisdom can handle the physical danger. But the spiritual danger that we have to face these last days the Holy Spirit will edify us in time and protect us. So he that dwell in the secret place, the Most High, abide under the shadow of the Almighty. There is secret for all God's children. And there is also security. There is a secret that God will share with his children that demons and Lucifer and Satan and devil could never interpret. It's a secret. And that secret, when you know the secret, it brings security. And I found out not many children of God Understand there is a secret. Because you cannot be in a secret place and don't know the secret that is in the place. Because <laughs> what makes the place secret is a secret. A secret. And many of us don't know the secret. So therefore, we are not sure about the security the secret produces. But he that dwell in that secret place will have access to the secret. There is a security for all God's children, especially those who commit themselves to the will and protection of the Almighty and daily seek to dwell in God's presence. I never came out of God's presence since I enter in. I'm in God's presence now 38 years. If I have to do wrong 
I will do wrong in God's presence. If I have to do right, I'll do right in God's presence. If I have to sin, I will sin in God's presence. If I have to love, I will love in God's presence. If I have to hate, I'll hate in God's presence. Because in God's presence, there is security and correction. In God's presence, there is security and correction. Whenever I go wrong in God's presence, He correct me. Boy, I'm coming like a tornado or a steamy roller. There is security for all God's children if you have a secret. The more fully we abide in Christ and His word makes Him our life and our dwelling place. When you take Christ's word and you take Christ seriously or on, a, on a fully basis, you dwell in, you can't come out of the place. Living in Christ with Christ's words is like a key that lock a door and you can't open it. When you live in the word of God, you lock in in his presence, you dwell, you dwell there. The fuller will be our peace and greatness for our deliverance in time of trouble. When you dwell in Christ's words, you get full of greatness. You get full of peace. You get full of deliverance in time of danger. Never danger appear, and you have God's word, and you are in His presence. You are, you are full of peace. You are full of greatness, and you are also full of deliverance in time of danger. He that dwell in the secret place will have access to the secret. <laughs> Verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. A refuge, my covering, my protector, my giver, my taker, my lawyer, my doctor, my advocate, my fortress. That means He protects you. He stands against the ills of this world. Like COVID-19. He allow it for those who don't want to be protected. He allow COVID-19 for those who believe they can depend on themselves and others for protection. But when you can depend on God for a fortress, it's like walls, high walls. It's like you can't see on the outside. And those who outside can't see on the inside. My God in him will I trust. So right now in the secret place is behind a fortress. That means they can see you and they can't touch you. They can hear you and they can't do nothing. Because you are protected. You're behind a place. And only God have access to. And only the children of God who have the secrets to be in that place. He that dwell there, you know, shall abide under, under God's shadows. In this text, there are four, there are four names of God that describe different aspects of God's protection in this text. This verse two verses there. In this verse two verses there, there are four names of God that describe different aspects of protection. This is the secret. You had to know the secret. This is the, uh, I'm sharing with you some inside secret. But not everybody will believe it. There are four names in this text that, that, that describe different aspects of God protection. The first name is Most High. Most High. Most High. 
When you hear most high, he that dwells in the most high. When you, when, when you hear most high, he that dwells in the most high. When you hear most high, the most high, it shows him to be greater than any threat we face on the earth. There is nothing to threaten you. Could go beyond God or face God. He is the most high. There is nothing higher. Most high. It shows him to be the greater than any threat we feel on the earth. Most high. Most high. That's, that's my defense. Most high. The next name is the Almighty. 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 Shut up the Almighty. Almighty. Almighty is emphasized. His power to comfort and destroy any enemy, include, in, 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 in also include COVID-19. Almighty, it emphasized the, his power to comfort and destroy any enemy. But you've got to be in the secret place. These are secrets I'm sharing here. The third name in those two verses there, the Lord, the Lord. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Verse 2 says, and I say of the Lord, the Lord, the Lord Jesus assure us that his presence is always with us. The Lord Jesus Christ, he assured us his presence is always with us. And the fourth, the fourth name, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God, in whom I trust. My God express the truth that God has chosen to associate intimately, intimately, intimately with those who trusted him. God, God, my God, it express the truth that God has chosen to associate intimacy like sex God will dwell with you tight with those who trust him when you, you trust God is an intimate life those four names most high almighty the Lord my God boy I tell you ah boy oh my God hey my time is up to be continued tomorrow Remember this, nation awareness, my time is up. Tomorrow, same time, and not just tomorrow, the family of God in the, in the spiritual. Call me here, see you.